Hi everyone, I'm Yanni Fulyun, less of a BIM consultant and more of a BIM counsellor and also Director of Professional Services at Baker Baines. Today I welcome you to our BIM Matters talk, a talk with different industry professionals where we talk about matters related to BIM and the digital built environment and also why it matters. We is the Gauteng Institute for Architecture and we serve our members who are architects mainly and other architectural professionals and it's the um, it's the way the world is going. The digital transformation is without that they can't they actually need it to do their job now and therefore we work closely with companies like yourself Baker Baines and I work with any other companies that could help in this digital transformation by organizing events, you know, for their continual professional development. And I think it's vital that they get exposed to the latest technology. Okay, so from my experience, Richard, I think the benefits of BIM are there. But I believe as a person, individual in this industry is that with regards to BIM, it has to be practice, practice, and practice can only be done at your own spare time. So you think that there's future in terms of the professional project, you believe that there is recognition for a BIM consultant in that space? Yes, from my opinion, you know, and I think it will be applicable more on, on large projects, infrastructure okay. projects. Uh, I've worked, I've got some decent experience working at airport for mm. 10 years, you know, okay. and it would make sense because that portion of, of the work was always given to the architects, mm. right? Mm. And it became very challenging. Yes, uh, it, it's, it, it's a whole new, uh, it's almost like it's one of the new careers that the information age has birthed. Yes, yes. What benefit do you think it would bring to the large projects specifically? I, I, th I think lots of problems could be solved like almost at the start, you know, mm -hmm. you wouldn't have clashes, you wouldn't have all those risks and difficulties, mm -hmm. you know, for example, like like a beam that, that they had all the piping, you know, through mm -hmm. it. And, 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 and now somebody forgot to show the, the, the cord rolling pilot holes, yes. you know, and, and you miss mm -hmm. that and it's a huge expense coming up. So all yes. the risks will be, you know, mitigated. So downstream, who benefits from that? Yeah, I, I, I think the client will benefit mostly, you know, I mean, it'll be a huge saving, initially a, a, a big uh, mm. investment, but yeah, a huge saving to the project, you know, I mean, lots of things will be bypassed, especially all the risks and potential problem areas. Absolutely. If I am the owner and I am paying for that piece of work to be done, um, does that not mean that I own that intellectual property? Neither of us are IP specialists, of course. That's true. I, I would I would say so because essentially when you design within a company mm. and under someone, uh, and under the owner of the company, essentially you leave behind that design and it becomes owned by that uh, company. So I would say yes, yes. <laughs> okay, all right. Do you think there are any benefits with open information sharing? Or is it like there's levels? Yes. Yes, so I do see it from a, a, a learning point of view, sharing information to learn how something was done. Getting everybody to literally be on that same platform becomes tricky from a human element because people are not necessarily um, inclined to, to kind of move away from what they already know. Uh, because they've refined those processes so efficiently, you know, they'd rather stick to what they know. So with that in mind and getting people to gravitate and migrate becomes a bit more challenging in that sense. You need to simplify that education. I think everybody at the moment sees BIM as a very complex and very uh, time-consuming uh, idea. Um, and then with that in mind, they don't entertain the the concept or the idea of actually integrating it into their business. Is it good? Definitely. Would it streamline projects, information? Yes. Uh, I see there's, there's, there's big potential in it, but um, it's still the human element, unfortunately. So with that in mind, it's, 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 more it's, it's more of an education thing. And the more awareness and education there is in it and kind of 
convincing and you know uh, persuading people that it's, it's it's for your benefit we're in an industry where it's very fast paced you have to dish out information as quickly as you can and if you for one second have a family or the way you use rivet it's just not um, it's not thinking. It takes time for you to produce the, the drawing that you need to do. And that also has a ripple effect in terms of your deliverables. Um, it has a cost implication. And if we as industry professionals can share that information, it will help so much. If, we, if we're not stuck in that world of it being an IP or that competitive edge or that advantage that we have. If we're just open to sharing that information with one another, it will make our lives so much more easier. The turnaround times for us issuing drawings and collaborating with other like professionals, it will be seamless. But we're just all stuck in that little bubble saying, nope, I worked hard to figure this out. Mm. I worked hard to do this, so why should I share that with you? Do you see any value of them within the government? Most definitely. Uh, I believe uh, already at this moment we are doing everything else manually. Mm. We have a bunch of information that we have, but everyone else is holding their own. So it will help to have a, a, all the information all in one a platform yeah. where we'll be able to share and also use the same information into each project that we're working on. Okay. So, so there's definitely value in it. Based off of all of the value that you see, do you ever find any stumbling blocks that you have to get over? Yeah, well, the stumbling blocks currently it's probably training. We, we don't have a, a practical training where we go into understanding how to use the, the BIM mm. platform. BIM really does matter. Share your thoughts on what the key issues are that needs to be addressed in BIM forums and BIM experts to help BIM flourish in South Africa. Send these thoughts to BIM Matters at bankerbanes.com. Also watch out for our next BIM Matters episode as we will delve further into important focus areas around BIM and digital workflows that we believe will ignite meaningful conversations and empower our built environment communities. Mm -hmm.